everybody welcome here today we got the, the the first annual boxing match of the century this is the ww 360 50 com png 30 60 fps this is the fight the fight of a century here we got all right so this is our commentators for today um we got this guy what's up he's, he was he's a lifelong legend in the wwf 360 um uh, guy lineup. He's here on behalf of vacation. Uh, we got the cow. You know, we all we all remember cow. We all remember cow from his days in the WW3 380. Believe it or not, his days in the 380. He he's here now on business because we're about to here to see some crazy matches. Um, uh, we got Master Chief, and we got a uh, Master Chief, a Smitty Werb, and Yeagerman Jensen. These two comes in pairs. These guys are like they were here for the oh my god these guys were here for the two double the double twin tag team matchup if we remember correctly the championship these guys are championship winners for the tenth the tag team matchup uh, we got my boy Gerald and uh, over there is uh, his pet turtle uh, we're we're here on the stairs we got some some refreshments here um, I don't know how it works. But yeah, today we're gonna. This is the matches for today. It's here. We're here for the fucking boxing matches of the century. The red versus the blue team is going crazy. We got the money match. This the prize on the line for the championship. Which team will take home the prize of a bazillion goddamn motherfucking roadblocks? We got the crowd here. The crowd is restless. The crowd is absolutely restless here, waiting. For the next match, the first lineup, the first lineup, the first match. All right, in the blue corner for the representing the blue team. You know him, you love him. This guy, he's the he's known as the Lord of something. All right, I'm not gonna say too much because he's the Lord of something. But I, if I say what it is, it'll be spoilers. Anyway, this is the guy. You know him, you love him. Everybody, put your hands together for Goro Majima. Make your entrance. Make your entrance. Make your fucking interest. Make your interest. We got the red corner representing the red team. You don't know him. You probably hate him. Everyone hates him. I hate this guy too. I fucking hate this guy. It's the Black Knight from Dark Souls 1. He killed the guy that was guarding the door. It's the Black Knight from Dark Souls 1. All right. We're starting the first match strong. We're starting it strong. Okay. This is the very first match. These two have never been in the same ring together. This is... This is all very, very scary. This is all very scary match. These two are absolute demons in their in their element. Now let's start it. Start the match. Ding ding ding! Oh my God! He goes in for the first stab. This guy, okay, the black guy is known for his absolute murderous intentions. This is actually crazy. Oh my God! He's got thug out. He's using thug for this one. He's using thug for this one, ladies and gentlemen. Holy shit! He's actually kicking him. He's stabbing him! Holy shit! My fucking god! Oh my god! He! Oh! He won! Oh my god! Oh my god, he won! God. Oh my god! Let's move all this other fucking bullshit out of the way. That blue team gets one point for that first match. Alright, that was insane. That was fucking crazy. Alright, that was the first match. This is the second match. Hold on, I need to. Yeah. Second match, ladies and gentlemen. I just had a drink and shit. All right. So in the red corner, who, who just died? Is that the guy? Oh my god! He just killed one of the announcers. You bastard! In the blue corner, weighing in on a bazillion million pounds, is the fucking champion Gundir. This guy, you know him. I'm gonna shoot him. And in the red corner. The red fucking corner, you know him. It's eight Elmos with guns. Eight Elmos with guns. We've never seen a lineup like this before. The eight Elmos are here. We're just waiting for Gunder to make his place on stage. Gunder is going to make his place on stage. Which team will win the money match? Find out after these matches. We're going to have a couple matches today. And we're going to have a championship match at the end. We're going to start it in three, two, one. Go, 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 go. This is how it's going to go. This is how it's going to go. The eight elbows with guns are firing, and the gun deer is—he's—he's—he's he's, he's taking it like a champ. 
He's actually just standing there. Oh, he's going in. He's going in for the kill. He kills one of the Elmos. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy fuck, he just killed. He just killed a bazillion one of the. He just stopped it. There's one left. He's making a stand. Oh my god. He's dead. He's dead. He died. Oh my god. We lost one of our commentators, but we gotta get our, 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 our top, top priorities we gotta get our our people in the in the fray did we are conversing what do we say about this i'm cow and i think that the second that gun deer's second form he was pretty good in that in that that second fight when when he when he stood there and took the bullets and then he went in afterwards that was like the most coolest play we've ever seen in this in this fight today hero brian hero brian what's your statement uh i think that we could um me personally I think that the first match was my favorite. I think that it was a quick one, but it was a pretty good one. Okay, Majima and the Black Knight, they they were equally matched. The Black Knight has the Black Knight halberd and the armor, and Majima has dog style. These are all very these are all very different conflicting worlds that we are we are dealing with, but you know what? They are equal in size, and it's really great to see these worlds colliding. Master Chief, uh, I think that um, the second fight was pretty good. Uh, me personally, I feel like Blue's at a at an advantage here. We've are it's already two or no. It's not looking good for the red team. I'm gonna have to tell you that much. Smitty, Smitty, Smitty. Uh, I I think it's gonna be a great a great matchup. I think that Red will come back with the comeback season that we've been waiting for this entire time. Uh, I you know, I don't know. I wouldn't place all my bets on Blue team first. All right. What do y'all think? What do you all think? What do you think? What do you think about this? Huh? What do you think? All right, this third match could be it. It could be the end of days. All right, we got in this corner, weighing it at I don't even know how many pounds. He got out of the. He just flew out of the thing. It's um, it's fucking nameless king. Ding ding ding! Oh shit, he's cra he's cranky in there. Give him a minute. And in the blue corner, oh, I'm sorry, my bad, girl. I I killed your. <laughs> and in the blue corner, weighing in at three pounds, we got the fucking aimbot sniper from the blue team. See, I don't know how we're gonna deal with today. Today is a money match indeed. A a, a fighter. We got two fighters in the ring: the aimbot sniper and the nameless king. Nameless king, notorious for 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 choke slamming. The Undertaker in the in the in one of the oldest matches, most infamous in the matches known the game, the '97 Alamo Punch Brawl for the for the heavyweight championship. All right, everybody, put your hands together. Starting in three, two, one, fight! Go go go! Go! He's not provoked. They're not provoking each other. They're just standing off. It's a standoff scene. It's a standoff scene. Let's move. The blue one. Let's put them closer to each other. Let's see what happens. Okay. He's not hitting him at all. Nameless King has been in cahoots with the blue team this whole time. Red team is facing heavy losses. They're not even fighting. They are ganging up on me. So this is why I have to fight for the red team here. I'm fighting for the red team now. You wanna try me, Nameless King? You wanna try me? You don't know who I am. I'm a heavyweight championship. I'm a heavyweight champion. You know who I am. I'm gonna kill you, bro. I'm gonna kill you. I'm the heavyweight championship. You're a traitor. You're a traitor to the red team. The traitor. Biggest traitor I've ever seen. I'm dunking on this motherfucker. That's why they call me the heavyweight championship. Red team wins. Red team wins for me. It's not 2-0 anymore. It's 2-1 now. All right. That's the oldest, the oldest rule in the WWF 30, 360 handbook. If if a, if they are in cahoots, the ref has to go in there and and pick a side that he and that he's a that he's a fighting for and he has to fight both of them and I did just that and that's why red team is getting one point all right so in the blue team we got this group of four this is ODST squad 365 they've come here to represent blue team 
they're here, they're armed and ready, they're gonna go out there, they're gonna kill things and shit, and you know what, that's gonna be insane. And then the red team, the red team here today, we got the Crucible Knight, he's fighting for the red team. We're, he's here, he's gonna, he might make this comeback happen for the red team. You just smack me with your tail, I am, I might just shoot you. I've never seen a lineup like this before today. I've never seen a lineup like this before today. Me too, honestly. I haven't seen the lineup like this ever since like the '86 fight, and that was a long ass time ago. We got—we're talking like 28 years. Yeah, we are talking 28 years. But you know what? This is now, and we're gonna have—we're gonna see the fight going happen. It's—it's it's happening. It's happening right now. The Crucible Knight is going in. They are shooting at him with the crossbows and arrows. He is distracted. He's actually not taking—he's—he's he's letting them hit hit him. The team is cornered. They're actually cornered. He might go in for a swing. Okay, he swung at him. They are not falling down. Holy shit. Okay, one of them fell over. One of them. One. Okay. Brawler team alpha leader is dead. He's gone. Oh my goodness gracious. He blew up. He blew up the whole team. Odious team Bravo 365 squad is fucking dead. And he wins. Crucible Knight wins this match. I cannot believe that this might actually be the comeback season that we've been waiting for. It's 2-2, two two, red and blue. 2-2-2. Two two two. It's going to go fucking crazy. I'm just... Move this shit out of the way. This is the... This is the fifth match. It's not a, necessarily a tiebreaker, but you know what? It's in the mid-round. We got 2-2. Two two. Let's see who wins this match. In the red team. In the red team corner, we got... The man, the myth, the legend. All right, you're weighing in at 120,000 billion pounds. We know him as the guy, the demon, the demon of Shinjuku. He's known for killing people. He's known for beating up people. He once fed a rat to an old guy while he was in the, in the bathroom. He's been on the metro station. He's beating up people in the metro station. Everybody put your hands together for Akira Nishikiyama. Holy shit, he's in the building. He's mad as fuck. Look at him. He stands up. He stands up. He's ready. He's ready to swing. He's ready to swing. Look at him. In the blue corner. The blue corner. The blue corner. Everybody, the blue corner has been blacked out for unsuspicious, for really odd reasons. I don't even know why it's like this. But you know what? We're going to go in there. We're going to see who is <gasps> the blue team's member is the uh, one and only weighing it at 136 pounds Akira Nishikiyama this is a crazy uh, lineup here ladies and gentlemen this is a crazy this is the craziest lineup we've ever seen in years it's a mirror match here Brian what do you think about that I haven't seen a mirror match since the mirror match that happened in 76 between Michael Myers and his friend uh, Conan I think I forgot his name I'm on fire I've never seen a mirror match done in WWF 360 history. This is insane. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go, go, go. They're going in. They're going in. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's a match. It's a match. It's a lineup. None of the, They're both scared. Oh my god. He swung. He's dodging. He's doing the Michael Jackson dodging. Holy shit. He's using the craziest tactics known to man. Those dodges. He's backwards running. They're swinging at each other. Oh my goodness gracious. Coming in from the red team. The blue team actually. Maji was running. They're both killing him. What the fuck is going on? They're both fighting. They're both in the ring now. He's breaker style now. He barged in from the blue side because we because red team had a 1v2 loss and now they're doing a 2v1 again. Breaker Maji was actually getting beaten here. He just, he's taunting. Nishki is still stance on him. He's dodging and shit. Look at him. He's doing the reach around. Oh my goodness, that form from Majima is going in crazy. He's punching it. He's switching to Breaker. Breaker, we've never seen this before. He hasn't done this in so long. The last time he did this was in the 06 Breaker match. And he gets knocked out. Oh my goodness. Nishki is just here for more support. Majima is beating him up. Oh my goodness gracious. But what's this? A, a Torius. Oh, he showed up at the, what the fuck? A Torius is in the fray representing the, the red team. Oh, oh my God. We've never seen this before. 
he is a blue team aficionado. What is going on? He's swinging. He's swinging. He's beating up Breaker. Oh my goodness. He, this has never been done before. This has never been... Oh my god. This has never been done before. Bonnie, what the hell are you doing in the ring? One of the Elmo bodies has remained in the build. <gasps> Nishki is down. Oh my god. Nishki is down. Wait, he's back up. He's getting back up. This is fucking insane. Nishki is stanced up still. He's going... Majima is continuing to beat him up. We are seeing 10 years for at least one of these people on the stage today. This is actually insane. Stanced up. This is the worst fight. This is the best fight that we've seen today. But this is the worst fight because this is a federal offense. You could get... You lose your degree over this. You could lose your sponsorship over this. They are losing a lot of things today by being on stage. Nishi's sitting here on his ass. What are you gonna do, huh? What are you gonna do? You gonna swing? You gonna swing? Huh? Oh, he's gonna swing. All right. That's a offense. You punch me one more time, I will go in this ring. I will beat you myself. What the hell is Nishi doing? Tell me right now. If we're doing this, right now. Swing, swing. Okay. Swing, swing, swing on me. Swing on me. Try me. Oh, oh. That's right! That's what I thought! It might be me. It might just be me. It might just be me. It might just be me. Oh my god, Artorius is down! Artorius is down! Artorius is fucking down! That is such a win for Blue Team. You wanna drink to that? Alright, let's we drank to that. Uh, we've had an issue. Um, the whole announcer's table is fucking dead. Yeah, he's gonna be hospitalized for like two weeks. The score is now three to two. This is actually insane that it's three to two now. There we go. Okay, so as I was saying. We pretty much lost, like, the announcer table and stuff. But you know what? This is the kind of stuff that happens in WWF 360. Those me those men that died here today, they knew what they were signing up for. Okay. So we're going to have to continue on the, f the next five matches without them. So let's just get, let's just get straight on to it. In the blue ring. Oh, he's already shooting. He's pissed. Weighing in at two, maybe one pound. You know him. Everyone hates him. It's the fucking Minecraft skeleton. And in the red corner, he's back. Wait, is that Master Chief? Oh my God, he lived the whole time. Master Chief, how did you live? What the hell? Uh, I actually just dodged the explosion when it happened. And now I'm back for vengeance against the blue team. Because, uh, you know, I actually want to be in the match. I feel happy that I survived. Three, two, one, go! Go, go, go! Master Chief, you have to go in, Master Chief. Oh my god. He's taking damage. Whoa! This is a heavy fight. <gasps> Knockout in, like, that's a world record. That was the fastest fight we've ever seen. Oh, fuck. There you go. Insane level of sportsmanship from these two sides, but you know what? We're gonna start off with the next match already. There's no time to dwell on the past. The money matches today. All right, who's in this red corner? Oh, way at 36 pounds is the Metro Police. We got his Sword and Shield, famous, famous for his crusades in the 03 battles. Yes, that's right. This is the exact same Metro Police that started the Crusades in the WWF 360 Crusades the the 2003 battle for Bikini Bottom in the blue corner representing the blue team the one weighing it at 3600 pounds is Barney Calhoun with the exact same setup this man is also here on a revenge trip because in the 05 match between Barney and the Metro Police 
it was it was it was a it was a betrayal that had happened. Barney, you see, Barney here was working with the Metro Police during those O3 Crusades we had just mentioned before. But in O5, he decided to betray him, and they haven't seen each other or talked to each other ever since that betrayal had happened. I've never seen a match this heated. This is going to be a heated match, intense matchup, intense lineup. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Three, two, one. The money match. The money match starts. Oh! Barney has successfully taken out one of the police. Oh my God! But what's this? They're they're coming back in. Oh my God! The Crusaders! They're fighting back. Barney is back. He's back for revenge. Woo! Oh my God! That's it. The legend from the O5, the the Crusades, and the legends from the O3 Crusades, they've they've both killed each other. Wait, hold up! I see movement on the one I just shot in the head. Hold up! This is currently the score for the for the WWF 360 Money Match in 2024. This is actually just insane. That that match ending in a tie where it did, it actually reset the points not really but they all have equal skulls now we go back to our commentary board commentary what do we think master chief oh this is gonna be a close matchup if, if if that fight between barney and the crusaders i had i it was just like how it was back in 03 and back in 05 when they had fought respectively in their duels the betrayal the drama the tension it all had just ended today and their corpses lay a muck on the ring. Cal, what is your response? I hated Barney, so you know that good, good, good for that. Hero Brian, your response? I think he's. I don't know what's wrong with him. I don't know what happened. Responses, anyone? For this next lineup, this next lineup, indeed, it'll be, it'll, it'll be a big team battle. Okay, the. The fighting is crazy. Red Bear is in the building. What the fuck is going on? He's stuck in the ground. There are bodies everywhere. There's Kiryu and Kiryu. Smitty is taken out. One of the modules. <gasps> He's down for the count. Oh my god. The Dragon Slayer himself, everybody. Walking into the building. This is the biggest team battle I've ever seen. The biggest fight I've ever seen. Oh my god. They're swinging on each other. Majima. Orstein down for the count. Oh my god. Oh my god, Majima just killed that guy. Oh my god, Anya man staying true to his form. He's not doing anything. Oh, Majima's down. I'm getting word that we have to keep going. Gale walks into the fray. He's going in. Kiryu is taking damage. Heavy fight, head to chest. This is a fight for the ages. There's a grenade. A grenade has been thrown. Kiryu is down. Majima has been knocked over by the FNAF crew is here. The entire FNAF crew is here. Oh my goodness gracious. This is wrong. I'm backstabbing my own teammate. This is all sorts of wrong. I knocked one over. I'm shooting these guys. Oh my god, Majima's angry at me. That was actually crazy. Majima's is coming back for revenge. Minecraft music is playing. Hostile Nushki, everybody. He's getting tag teamed by three of his brothers. There's, been, there's not, been nothing but blood sprayed on the floor. Mossman is in the fray. This is all going wrong. Gwyn is here. Oh my god, Gwyn is here. Gwyn has showed up. He's fighting everybody. He is not food. He's not letting up. Gwyn! You motherfucker! You fucker, come back here! Oh shit, I'm killing everybody. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That was a lot. I actually spawned in a lot there. This is just one big mess, ladies and gentlemen. Blood all throughout the floor. We haven't seen a fight this brutal ever since the 06 battle. Battle for the bands. This is a blood zone right here. This is an absolute bloody massacre. We've seen fight and, and death here today 
in this ring we've seen nothing but pain and suffering we've seen nothing but pain and suffering all throughout this ring how will the match end we have to do this the money match is now we have to start it who will be victorious <coughs> who will win the money <laughs> the red corner fighting for his brothers and sisters you know him as the dragon of Dojima it's the man the myth the legend Cosmo Kiryu Kiryu looking at all the blood of his of his brothers and sisters crying on the field he doesn't know what to think and now for the surprise guest everybody ladies and gentlemen the surprise guest it's Akira Nishikiyama the evil version oh my god the fight the fight of a lifetime it begins him against the ropes holy shit this is a close-up match oh my god the grab Grab back into beast mode, he goes. What's the play here, Kiryu? Oh, my God! Oh, the counter. Ringed out! 